Hello. In this session, uh, we are going to describe the applications of electrolysis. As we began the session, we said that electrolysis is the breakdown of an electrolyte by an electric current. And we were able to look at two different types of electrolytic processes, namely the electrolytic cell in which electric current is used to cause or induce chemical reactions. We also looked at the electrochemical cell in which chemical reactions are used to induce electric charge. So at this point, we are reviewing by describing the common applications of electrolysis. Welcome. Uh, the first application of electrolysis is the extraction of pure elements. And this could be done in different ways. Once in the Downs cell electrolysis, uh, we could extract pure sodium and pure chlorine. In the mercury cathode cell, uh, we extract pure sodium hydroxide, pure hydrogen gas, and pure chlorine. And if the need arises, we could also obtain pure mercury. Uh, the purification of elements uh, is a process by which uh, we could apply in the extraction of metals. For example, in the use of lead oxide, oxidized by, reduced by carbon, uh, the process gives us lead and CO2. So we could use electrolysis as a means of purifying elements like metals from their ores. Whenever you have an impure agent and you want to use electrolytic process in its purification, you place the impure agent at the anode and attach a pure agent at the cathode of the same form. Use an electrolyte that has ions of that element, for example. Should this be aluminum, then we could have aluminum chloride as an electrolyte. And the impure aluminum will dissolve in solution to give us aluminum ions, which would have effectively separated from the impure agent. The freed aluminum ions will consequently attract electrons in the solution and will be reduced, thereby being deposited at the cathode. Therefore, during the purification of elements, we place the impure species at the anode and we collect the pure product at the cathode after the electrolytic reduction process. Number two, electroplating. Electroplating is the process by which a metal is used to cover another metal. And in this case, the aim is to protect the metal from rusting and other uh, corrosive processes. For example, uh, we know that uh, iron is susceptible to rusting. Now, we could choose an element such as zinc and use zinc to electroplate iron. And in a nutshell, when zinc has electroplated iron, the net result is that zinc is more reactive than iron and whenever there is a chance for rusting to occur, it is zinc which will be oxidized or corroded and the iron remains protected. So that is similar to what we call the cathodic sacrificial of a species in order to protect uh, the central element. So number four application after extraction of pure elements, purification of elements and electroplating which prevents rusting and corrosion, we have the manufacture of cells. We learned earlier that there are two main forms of cells, primary mainly the dry cell exchange 
and two, uh, the secondary cell, mainly the lead acid accumulator. So as we learned, again, we can say that the dry cell eclanche is a non-rechargeable cell. Non-rechargeable in the sense that once the redox process occurs, the solution agents are depleted in the dry cell and they are non-reversible. So the cell is non-rechargeable. Non-rechargeable. Uh, the lead acid accumulator, on the other hand, is a secondary cell, and secondary cells are rechargeable. Uh, we saw that in the secondary cell we had concentrated sulfuric acid as the electrolyte, we had lead for oxide as the anode, and we had lead as the cathode. What happened is that the reaction began at cathode, in which uh, the, the lead was oxidized, forming lead ions. The lead ions uh, transmitted the electrons to the cathode, uh, to the anode, and at the anode, the lead 4 was reduced to, to lead 2. Then the reaction between lead 2 and sulfate ions formed the insoluble lead sulfate. At that point, we say that the lead sulfate is reversible, but when you add water to it, effectively it is reversed into the original reagents, namely the anode, lead sulfate, the cathode lead and the electrolyte uh, dilute conic sulfuric acid. Remember we say that after the recharge the electrolyte is diluted and being dilute it is less effective as compared to the concentrated species. So these are the main applications of electrolysis and in a nutshell uh, the importance of studying electrochemistry. So uh, we have said that there is extraction of pure elements through down cell electrolysis or mercury cathode cell, purification of elements at the cathode, electroplating, covering to prevent rusting and corrosion, manufacture of cells, which are batteries that we use in our phones and other gadgets, secondary cells, are for motor activity vehicles. Thank you.